We are Trucker Radio, your number one online talk radio station. I'm sitting wondering if you're here with me. We educate, entertain, inform, and inspire you. Follow us. Follow us. Follow us everywhere on social media at the Tracker Radio. Tracker Radio, keeping you on track with talk that matters. She's daring. She's beautiful. She's outstanding. She's bold. And she's fearless because she's got balls. Hello beautiful listeners, welcome to the show She's Got Balls on your favorite online radio, Tracker Radio, the radio that keeps you on track with talk that matters. Today on the show, we'll be looking at taking care of the vagina and I have a guest with me in the studio who will be talking about taking care of the vagina with me and she's none other than Timmy Judge. Timmy Judge, say hi. Hi everyone, nice to be here. Okay, so to be part of the show, you follow us on our social media platform at Tracker Radio. We're on Instagram, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, and we're on YouTube and TikTok. So follow us, leave a comment, a like, and ask questions if you want. Okay, as a lady, having a vagina is a lot of responsibility. And taking care of it is a job that requires maximum attention and care. And... To take care of your vagina is your sole responsibility. No other person can help you do that except you. Though, except in medical cases, now, if you don't take care of your vagina, it can lead to serious health issues. Like issues I, like I infections. I quite agree with that. Yes. Mm, and then mm. it can also lead to infertility. Yeah. yeah I find it very difficult to, to put to bed. Yeah, yeah. And at well, you're in luck. Today we're here to give you easy points on how to on how to take care of the vagina that you get to practice every day to make sure your vagina is healthy. Now, first on the list is washing. Washing, like is it a cloth or something? So, how do you wash your vagina? How? What do you wash your vagina with, Timmy? Um, first of all, I think we should take note that uh, the vagina is a self-cleansing organ. Isn't that amazing? It is. Like yeah. it gets rid of bacteria for itself. Mm. Okay. So you don't need to wash it with soap or any other cleanser for that matter. Use only water. Lukewarm water and make sure it's clean. Don't doubt. Oh, I God. mean what's that? I mean sticking your finger or your fingers into your vagina. Yeah. Don't, mm, don't do that. Don't allow someone to do it. Uh, I, I, I yes. don't mind. No, because doing this can disturb the natural pH level of the vagina, and this on its own can lead to infection that you're washing so hard to avoid. Girl. Okay, yes. now imagine me using my finger to clean my vagina, and at the end, I get infection that I'm washing. That, yes, that, that's, that's awful. Yes, so. Okay, again, another way to take care of the vagina is allow it breathe. People allow it breathe, allow it uh, come in and out. Now, how do you do this? Avoid synthetic material on this. Avoid the netty on this. They can be sexy when worn netty on this. Mm, yes, 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 yes. And this um nylon on this too. They 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 are not um, um should I say moisture or heat? They are the moisture or heat repellent. They they don't absorb the heat to keep you dry. They they accumulate it and that place becomes sweaty and then um, wet and can lead to irritation and also give room for bacteria to grow. Mm-hmm. Still on uh, allowing the vagina breathe. I think it's um or it's. It's advisable you sleep naked, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Sleep naked. <laughs> when you're alone? Sleeping naked is, no, whether you're alone or not, yeah. it's, it's a healthy practice. I'm just saying, you have to allow your vagina to feel healthy. And yeah. sleeping naked, yes, helps it stay healthy and liberate it. Yes, it liberates the pussy. I ah. know if you must know this, it does that. So okay. imagine all the you have to cover your pussy in tight panties and jeans I and bodycon skirts and lot. going all about your day's activities, getting busy and all that. And then at night too, you don't let it breathe. You have to let it. You have to sleep naked to let it breathe properly. I, I like so that it's part. safe. Okay. Yes, yeah, sleep naked. <laughs> And did you also know that the sleeping naked thing help your blood circulation like around your pussy area? 
know. Okay, now you know now. So it's important that you sleep naked as it allows you to live healthy. I mean your vagina allows you to stay healthy. So that's another way. Okay. I've learned from aside from sleeping naked to feel sexy when I want to actually get down to business, I can actually do it for health purposes for my vagina yes, purposes. Yes, wow. Yes. Thank you very much, Timmy. Okay, another way to take care of your vagina is shaving. Some of us we we, we use shaving stick two times. No, it's not really good to repeat a shaving stick. No, those of us that use shaving stick. But if you use shaving cream, it's more advisable you use shaving cream. And also shave at the appropriate time. Don't shave when you are on your period. No, don't do it. Shave before or after, after your, your period. period. Yes. Don't, don't do it when you are on your period because mm-hmm. while you're on your period, that place is wet and slippery, and then you mm-hmm. shave some particles of I can just slip down and. And that can cause problems in the future. I can for you. practically imagine how unhealthy it looks in my head right now. No, 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 no. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't. Okay. And also, um, when you are on your period, try as much as you can to sh- change your your sanitary so, pad yes, regularly. Really, because really, really now really. I hear pad is expensive. Before it was two fifty. Now it's five five hundred, four fifty. Yes, some uh, way way more than that. Yes, well. and some person persons try to be very economical. They tend to use one a whole day. And now it's not that it's not at all. It's mm-hmm. not. So just try as often as you can to change your pad regularly. Often in a day, use two three pad. And while you're changing, try to wash because the blood itself comes with um, a, a particular smell. It's the yes. smell is awful now you don't you don't just change your diet your your pad and when off you go no try to use clean water to wash that's to wash off the blood and the smell that comes with it and wear a fresh pad that's that is that Okay. Don't forget, we're still here on Tracker Radio, the radio that keeps you on track. And today, we're still looking at we're looking at um, taking care of the vagina, and we've given you some tips on how to do it, how to wash, what to wear, and when to shave. And another step is um, just like you do regular breast examination, you should also do a monthly pussy examination. Oh, what's that? Yes, take it from me, girl. <laughs> I mean, how do you do this? Hold a, ha- a mirror to your uh, in front of you, and then uh, face facing the pussy, and then or you can also call it punani. Yes, I got I like that. that one more. <laughs> I like that one. And observe the area. This is to check for lumps or bumps or any other abnormalities in your womanly area that might need um, medical attention. Just as the breast examination detects such things, so lumps and other so. Add it to your monthly to-do list that you will do or vagina or pussy or punani, whatever it is you want to call it, examination. It's very, very necessary. Okay, so I have to have a mirror in front of me like I want to admire my down sector and I'm, I'm, I'm examining. I'm actually looking at it. And you're damn looking girl. out for something. I'm beautiful. I, I, I'm actually normal. beautiful down there. Yes, but this time you're not doing it to admire it necessarily. You're checking for abnormalities. So Okay, so I, I get to check for long. Yes, bumps, bumps, and yes, after shame them. ratchets and all that. So. Okay, okay, that's 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 a new one. I, I can you imagine? I'm the one hosting the show and I'm the one learning. Yes, well, I yes, hope my listeners out there are also learning. We learn every day, yes, every day we learn. Day. So, this is a this is a plus for me to my total list. So, I'm gonna look at this month. I, I've, I've not done it and I've not been doing it. So, look at this month and I'll do it. I'll just a perfect time and admire myself down there you oh know my goodness you're checking out for <laughs> abnormalities you've got to excuse me it's it's still my area so who goes to the hospital and say doctor i want to see if uh, malaria looks good on me or not okay you have a point there yeah. okay that, that's, that's one one point for you mm-hmm. okay we're slowly coming to the end of the show it's still tracker radio the number one radio that keeps you on track with talks that matters to follow tracker radio you follow us on twitter instagram tiktok youtube and Facebook at the Tracker Radio, and to follow your home girl, it's Jasmine Center on Facebook, Jazzy Jazz on Twitter, and Jasmine Center on Instagram. Now, lastly, um, lastly, before we go, one way to keep your vagina healthy is practicing safe sex. Timmy, okay, you will agree with me <laughs> that's what, right? Sure, <laughs> how do you practice safe sex? 
Oh my goodness, why are you putting me on the spot? Do ah! Don't put me on the spot right now. Okay, some people say that um, when they, um, they wash off after having sex is to prevent pregnancy. But since we're talking about keeping the uh, uh, vagina healthy and in check, I think it's also proper that after sex, you... you, you you wash your vagina yeah after immediately sex, after sex yeah. and also pee after sex pee research say that if you pee immediately after sex you prevent urinary tract infection so it's not just for preventing pregnancy it's okay. to prevent infection, infection that the other person might be carrying that you don't know mm. or to prevent infection that can uh, that can later grow as a result of um sex that you had even though you you practice safe sex so use a practice safe sex and pee immediately after sex ah isn't it Take it from us you don't want to have babies running all over the streets of nigeria so yes <laughs> i know you're mean you're mean i'm just saying you're mean okay thank you very much for staying tuned to us um on tracker radio you can leave a comment at our social media platform or on my social media platform thank you very much it's bye bye from me to uh, come your way again next wednesday from us it's a bye 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 everyone thank you for having me tracker radio keeping you on track with talk that matters